gang, Space Time Badass here. Today we're going to talk about the secret to lucid dreaming. And when I say the secret to lucid dreaming, I do not by any means or stretch of the imagination mean a magical remedy that will somehow make you lucid dream without trying. For the majority of people, lucid dreaming will absolutely take a lot of effort. So let's not make the mistake of assuming that there is some miracle remedy, because there isn't. The secret, I believe, is a combination of three things which will each take work. And this also isn't to say that you could do these things and then also not do your dream journal or reality checks or technique. Each of those things are all very crucial as well. So, what are they? Number one is positivity, and this means having as positive of a mindset as you possibly can when it comes to lucid dreaming. A lot of the time when people first start out trying to lucid dream, they can get discouraged pretty easily if all the effort you're putting into it doesn't seem to be having as much of a return. And when this happens, we find ourselves thinking things like, why am I not lucid dreaming? What am I doing wrong? I'm never going to lucid dream even to the point of thinking that it's more difficult than it is or even impossible for you to achieve. But I'm here to tell you that it absolutely is possible for everyone to lucid dream. The reason I recommend being as positive as possible is because it could turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy. That is, you could be so negative about lucid dreaming and thinking that you can't do it to the point where it actually is a lot more difficult for you than it ordinarily would be if you had a positive mindset. So when it comes to your reality checks, to your dream journal, and your techniques, and when you're going to bed at night, you have to be positive and think that I can lucid dream, I will lucid dream. And of course, we are only human, so we will get those little negative thoughts from time to time, but the important thing is that you don't indulge them and try to be, again, as positive as you possibly can and brush your fears and doubts to the side. The second thing is intention. In all aspects of lucid dreaming, you have to be sure that your intentions are clear. And when I say in all aspects, I really do mean in all aspects, such as when you're awake and when you're doing your reality checks, you need to set the intention of when I do this, if I have this result, I'm dreaming and do that and see how it turns out. All the stuff that you do in the waking life, you have to have that intention that you are going to lucid dream, that you want to lucid dream, and that is your goal. As well, when you're in the dream, intention is also doubly important. A lot of the times when we try to accomplish things in lucid dreams, the reason that we fail can be down to we didn't clearly set our intention. So before you try doing anything really crazy in the dream, like changing your surroundings, changing people, you have to set the intention and know what you want to occur before you even try to do it. For instance, instead of wanting to change locations and saying, I'm going to open this door and be somewhere else, which you can do it that way, it is possible, but it can be a little more difficult. It can be made a lot easier if you set the intention beforehand that I'm going to open this door and be in the woods or be in my childhood home, something that you are very specific about. Set your intention with lucid dreaming at every level. The more you affirm your intention, the clearer it becomes in your mind and the more it will stick in your head and become and the third thing is also incredibly important, and that is expectation. So being positive and setting the intention are two things that are also very important, but when it comes right down to it, expectation, I think, is king. Because not only do we have to be positive in believing that this will happen and have to set the intention that what we want to happen can happen, but we have to expect that it will happen. And this is another thing that is at every level, whether you're awake or you're asleep, it's very important to your lucid dreaming practices, no matter what reality you're in. Expect in your waking life that when you do your dream journal, that it is doing its job. Expect that when you're laying down to go to sleep at night, that you are about to go and enter a lucid dream. Try to keep the positive mindset and the intention as always, but with the expectation we're trying to cultivate an attitude where we really believe that we are actually laying down and we are about to embark on a lucid dreaming journey. Through the repetition and the practice, eventually we can get to a point where we are laying down to sleep and we are expecting to lucid dream. And having that positivity and that self-assuredness it can be cultivated, and when you have it, it makes lucid dreaming so much easier. It might feel like you're deluding yourself at first, but that's okay. We do that all the time in waking life with many different things, so it should be a great friend to you already, as it is for me and everyone else. And again, with expectation, when you're in the dream state is when it also becomes even more important. We don't want to be trying things in the dream and seeing if it'll work or not, or hoping and wishing that it'll work. We want to do these things and as we're trying them, know that they are going to work. 
your belief in what will happen and your own power in your lucid dream is directly related to the result it will have. So for instance, if you're in a dream and you say, um, I'm going to see if I can fly and kind of see what happens, it's possible that, that that can be really difficult for you to do with that mindset. However, if you say, I'm going to fly and you believe that you can fly and you are self-assured in this aspect, it will be very much easier and if not completely effortless. And the reason this is is because we grow up in the three-dimensional world where there are limitations and these limitations do not exist in our dreams. The only reason we may find that we are limited in our dreams is because the limitations are self-imposed. We have lived so long in this world that we know for a fact that we can't just up and fly here so it's kind of difficult to cultivate an attitude that you believe you can fly in the dream. However, this, as with all of the things that I've mentioned here, is entirely possible. It just takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of work, and a lot of patience. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Those are the three things that I think really sum up the secret to lucid dreaming. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. I am about to hit my first 1,000 subscribers, hopefully I think sometime this month in a couple of weeks. So if you have any questions that you may want answered about lucid dreaming, about me personally, or really about anything, I will answer them in a Q&A. But again guys, for this to happen, you have to submit your questions. There has to be a need for it, otherwise it will fall to the wayside and we'll just continue on with business as usual. So if you want to participate in a Q&A, questions down below and I will do my best to answer them. Otherwise, don't forget to check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Spacetime Badass, as well as the Spacetime Badass Facebook page really needs some love as well right now. If you want to support the channel, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Spacetime Badass. Alternatively, if you want to help out and also get something for yourself in return, you can check the description box down below and there is a Dreamleaf affiliate link there. They sell lucid dreaming supplements and dream journals. So if you want to get something lucid dreaming related for yourself there and also help the channel out, the link is down there and any and everything is very appreciated. But of course, as always, this is not necessary. I'm just happy that you're watching and that we're ha having this community and the discussion here. And until next time, take it easy.